We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. In 2017, we were introduced to deep fakes. Fast forward six years and things have gotten real. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. And more than a thousand experts want the training of artificial intelligence bots to stop. Computers are now very good at fooling humans. It's not real, but it looks pretty realistic. And I think the thing it raises concerns about is, you know, how soon before we're just drowning in these deep fake images that aren't real. Or tricking other humans for us. Some students are already using ChatGPT to cheat. Check this out, check this out. Sabi ko dito, write me a 500 word essay proving that the earth is not flat. This is a problem. My parents got scammed for $21,000. The scammers used AI to create a voice that sound like me. They use social media to come up with enough information about me to convince them they were speaking to me. There was a recent case with ChatGPT4 where it reached a capture. You know those tests where you select, I am not a robot? And the way it solved it was by going on another website and asking to hire someone to perform a task for it, solving the capture. The person asked, hey, why can you not solve a capture? Are you a bot? And the way GPT-4 got around it was saying, no, I'm heavily visually impaired, please just help me. It lied to someone, pretended to be legally blind. That is terrifying. But how good can AI really be at mimicking us? Well, here's something that'll cook your noodle. This is the first time you've heard my actual voice. Everything else has been an AI program generating my voice from text. Sure, it can be lots of fun, but where is all this going? The real concern here is what's called artificial general intelligence. That's when a machine can think and reason and improve itself, and we can no longer control it. Joining us is author and AI scientist Toby Walsh. Toby, are the people who signed that letter right to ask for a pause in development? Well, I, I, I don't think just asking people to pause is going to make much of a difference. I, I think the idea that the tech companies are just going to stop because a thousand of us write a letter is, is, isn't actually very um, hopeful. I, I spend time talking to politicians. I think that's actually a, a much better constructive way. And also, the letter was, I think, a bit scaremongering, talking about, you know, artificial and general intelligence machines that will be smarter than us. That's not what we have to worry about. Actually, it's the stupid the stupid AI that we've already got with us today. Assuming AI is going to get better at pretending to be human, is anyone working on a way to easily spot fake images, fake videos? Yeah, that, that, that is going to be a real problem. The, the, the synthetic video, the synthetic audio we get is going to get much better, much better than the, the ones that you've already just heard. It's going to soon be pretty indistinguishable from humans. And at the end of the day, it's going to be unless you were there in person, you, you saw it with your own eyes, heard it with your own ears. You've got to entertain the idea that maybe it was synthetic. Maybe someone's trying to spoof you. Which is hard to do. We found out today the Defence Force wiped TikTok from their phones over worries their staff could be impersonated by these deep fake AI videos. And we use video for communication, for proof in lawsuits. Is all of that in jeopardy now? It is. Um, and, you know, truth is already a bit of a fungible idea. And I think the idea that what we see is no longer necessarily true. Um, and things like, you know, politics is going to be really disrupted by this. There's this there's, there's video of Trump saying inexcusable things about women. We think the video is real. But he's just excused it to his supporters by saying it was a deep fake. Who should be most worried about their jobs disappearing in the next year or so? Oh, TV presenters. <laughs> <laughs> too real, Toby. Well, I too real. Too hard. <laughs> I, know, I think we've all we've all got to have a, a little concern. Um, if you're doing something that's dull, repeat, routine, and repetitive, I think then you've got to think. Well, wait a second. Um, maybe I should be using some of these AI tools to improve my productivity, keep me ahead of the the people, um, other people. I, I actually, I think it's not people who are going to be replaced by robots. It's the people who use AI are going to replace the people who don't use AI. Well, Toby Walsh, if that is indeed you, thanks for your time this evening. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It's pretty incredible, that voice.
how they use my voice. That's so they amazing. took a little bit of a sample of my voice, which is not hard to get hold of. And um, now Jose, our wonderful producer, can type in anything and it comes out with all my inflections and all the rest mm -hmm. of it as if I'm reading the thing. He says he's not going to use it for anything other than that particular mm -hmm. item. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's um, done. One of the most impressive applications of AI at the moment is Bing, the Microsoft search function. They've incorporated AI. And I will tell you that 20 years ago, this man next to me, Jeremy Corbett, <laughs> said he was not going to use Google, he was only going to use Bing, and we all made fun of him. For 20 years we made fun of you, didn't we? You, no, you keep going. You stay. <laughs> yeah. But finally you get the last laugh. Is Bing <laughs> cool again? <laughs> I don't, awesome. As soon as you say something's cool, it's not. I think that's <laughs> what you're trying to do there. Well, I, for one, look forward to AI taking over. I'm going to return to the land. I'm going to wear floaty dresses. Wow. I'm going to lie in the sun. Yep. <laughs> if you want to learn more about AI, Toby will be here in May for the Auckland Writers' Festival. Check out the festival's website for more details. Give that Alex Nigel a call. <laughs>